Hey, thanks for coming to 1500ESPN.com. I'm Derek Wetmore. I'm going to share with you my five thoughts from Sunday's Twins-Royals game. Hope everybody had a happy and healthy 4th of July weekend. Time to get back into some baseball here. Uh, thought number one, Irvin Santana made his Twins debut on Sunday. He pitched eight great innings. If there's any number of things you could take from this game with Santana coming off an 80-game drug suspension, but the one that stood out the most to me was his slider. It was... A very strong weapon for Santana on Sunday. He got eight strikeouts through his eight innings of work. Uh, gave up just three hits and three walks. But of those eight strikeouts, uh, all of them came on the slider. Seven of them were swinging strikeouts, and one of them was a called third strike. Uh, very promising debut for Santana and the Twins, and I wrote plenty about his outing in my Five Thoughts column on the website. Check that out, 1500ESPN.com, for a little more there. Uh, thought number two... Aaron Thompson gave up the walk-off double to the Royals. The Twins lost by a final of 3-2. to two. Um, After Santana's eight strong innings, the bullpen could not hold up its end of the bargain. And when your offense only scores two runs, a battle of the bullpen it becomes pretty important. Unlikely the Twins are winning that battle with the Royals given the, the respective units that each team trots out right now. Blaine Boyer came in to face the leadoff batter. Lorenzo Cain walked him. Boyer got the hook, Thompson came in, gave up a double to the lefty, Eric Hosmer, and that was all she wrote. The Royals were dancing and jumping around at home plate after their 3-2 uh, walk-off victory. As I wrote in my Five Thoughts column, if the Twins consider themselves postseason contenders uh, and feel that they're buyers at the July 31st non-waiver trade deadline, they've got to upgrade their bullpen. Whether that comes from within the organization or a trade remains to be seen, but I just don't think that even adding Trevor May's great arm to the bullpen really solves the problem that the Twins have had uh, recently with their bullpen. Uh, it was a case, the case again on Sunday after uh, Santana had, like I said, eight good innings and then his start was basically blown by the fact that the relievers couldn't get anybody out. Thought number three, Miguel Sano just continues to impress. Through 16 plate appearances, he looks like the real deal. I believe he belongs in the middle of the Twins order. Uh, he had a, another uh, double on Sunday. He drove in the Twins' first run of the game. I wrote this observation quickly in my Five Thoughts column on Sunday. Uh, I think he's going to stick. Check out the column for some rationale and reasons, but in short, he just does not seem overwhelmed at the plate. That's a little bit subjective. It's a little bit anecdotal, and it's based off a small sample size. I know all of that, but... Uh, the early returns for calling up Sano sure appear promising for the Twins. Thought number four, Joe Maurer had another two hits on Sunday. That's after four hits on Saturday. Uh, quick thought here, Joe Maurer might be heating up. If the Twins could get uh, vintage Joe Maurer batting in the middle of their lineup and add Sano's bat, uh, that would be a quick way to pull the offense out of a bit of a rut. Um, I don't know what we'll see from Maurer going the rest of the way, but... His bat in July, he now has uh, three multi-hit games through five days in July. So, good start to the calendar month for the first baseman. Thought number five, I wrote about this on Saturday, and I brought it back up on Sunday. Santana's return pushed somebody from the starting rotation. That somebody was Trevor May. A lot of people have accurately pointed out that Trevor May had the best fielding independent pitching in the Twins starting staff. I've argued many times that... For stretches of this season, Trevor May has been their best starter. His nightmare of a start uh, at the end of June in Milwaukee probably came at a bad time for May. Um, I wonder if that had to do something with the decision. But there's also a little lurking variable that I wrote about in my Five Thoughts column. A reason why it may not be a huge mistake to keep Mike Pelfrey in the starting rotation for now. Check that out on the website, 1500ESPN.com. How's that for a tease? Uh, that'll do it for this Five Thoughts video. I'm about to head over to the podcast studio and record this week's Touch Em All podcast. Phil Mackey, myself, Derek Wetmore, we record uh, once a week Twins podcast called the Touch Em All podcast. If you're not already subscribed to that on iTunes, head over to iTunes right now as we speak. Uh, just search under podcasts for Touch Em All. Um, it's a weekly conversation. We talk 30, 40, 50 minutes on Twins baseball Sort of from a sabermetric and analytical stats slant, but you know we've also both covered the team very closely over the last couple of years. Uh, plenty of insight on that podcast, and I think if you enjoy these videos, if you enjoy the Five Thoughts column, I think you'd enjoy that podcast as well. So check that out this week. 
I'm signing off for this video, though. Again, hope everybody had a happy and healthy 4th of July weekend. I'll check in with you this week on the Twins homestand as the Orioles come to Target Field. Until next time, I'm Derek Wetmore. Thanks for watching.